All right, everybody, let's continue on and learn how to use some of these toolbar functions here. So uh, let's see what we've got to work with. Looks like we can export um, as a PDF. Uh, although I think, well, we'll come back to that one. Export image, export cross tab, export data. Cool. All these features we get right here from, excuse me, the download. Basically, we can do those programmatically or from the JavaScript. Let's make all, oh, revert all. That's an interesting one. Revert all commands, restores the workbook to its original published state. Oh, cool. Okay, let's implement these, starting with the PDF here. Copy. Let's see here. Okay. All right, let's make ourselves a new row of buttons. Call this export PDF. Uh, copy, paste, viz. Now, do we have this object created? Um, something that we're gonna run into a little bit of trouble with. This viz object gets lost every time we switch back and forth between uh, worksheets and dashboards in the in the workbook. So first of all, where is viz? Right here, okay, it's created in init viz. Let me show you what I mean. If I'm guessing correctly, it'll work as long as we use it immediately, but not if we use any of our other buttons first. Let's find out. Nope, not even that. Uncaught reference error, viz is not defined. Oh yes, it is too defined. Viz. Uh, I know what the problem is. Come right back here. Why does it think this variable right here isn't defined when we're trying to use it down here? Well, my guess is it's because it's not visible. The viz is not visible when it's here inside this function. So what do we need to do? Add it here to our list of global variables. Viz, save. Let's see if that works now. Refresh. And no, still, okay, cannot read property, show export PDF dialog of undefined. All right, let's think through this one. Okay, another stupid mistake on my part. Uh, right here, we still had this before. I forgot to take it out. So what happens here? A global variable called viz gets created. This function gets run, and it redeclares it right here. Um, it's not saving it back into this variable that we made up here that's global. So how do we fix that? Boom, there we go. Now it's using this existing variable up here that's already global and storing the new uh, visualization in that. So now we can access it from here. Save that, come back here, refresh. Export PDF, magic. Okay, uh, let's move on. What do we got next? Uh, let's see here. Export image, great. I think we're gonna have the same issues. This should all be fixed now. We should be able to cruise through these ones really fast. In fact, let's just go grab them all at once. Export image. Export cross tab. Export data. And finally, oh, fun one, review, revert all. Okay, uh, let's make some buttons. I need four more, one, two, three, four. Okay, let's try these out. Uh, let's see, do we have a workbook object to use? Let's just make sure we're not screwing anything up. 
There's workbook. Where does it get set? Right there. Okay, we should be fine. So again, um, remember we ran into this problem earlier where, I'm trying to remember where it was. Uh, we lost our, when we switched sheets, that was when, that's what when it happened. We switched to map tab. When we switched back and forth, workbook.activate sheet. We were running this problem where we were losing the active work active sheet object right here so that was making life difficult for us uh and how do we fix that um actually no we didn't run that in these videos this is something that we ran into in class i'll come back to that one a little bit later on anyway let's try all these right now refresh export pdf that one already worked great export image Yep, it's been generated, so it's copied the image to your RAM or memory. Export cross tab. Unexpected server error. Oh, you know why? It's because we didn't allow. Uh, let me show you. Go to Tableau Public. Sign in. Yes. Keep, oh, come on. You can do it. There we go. And I think this is, oh no, I think, am I using YouTube demo? Which one did I, I think I switched. Which one am I on? Demo one, 150. Is that this one? I don't think so. Basically what we have to do is we have to come here to edit details, make sure we're on the right one, first of all, and allow a workbook instead to be downloaded by others. If that's not checked, then you're gonna get that error that I just had. Let me see if I can go back and find that one. It might be this one. Let's see here. Share. Copy that link. You know what? Regardless of whether or not I'm using it, I'm going to use this one now. Yep, that's the one. And then edit details. Allow it to be shared. Save. There we go. Now, hopefully, export. Was it cross tab? No, it's still having the problem. How about data? There we go. I think I just need to refresh the page. Cool. Get rid of that one. Cross tab has been generated, so that's we have to paste now into uh, like an Excel document or download as an Excel document. Revert. Um, well, I guess that one's not going to work until we do some other stuff. Let's go to map view. Let's do some filtering. Oh, I can't. Uh, oh, here, by the way, here's what I was talking about. See this error right here where it said, hey, you can't filter. Well, it's because you're not on the original sales view. I still can't filter. Why? Because back here, this active sheet um, gets lost when we switch from workbook to workbook. So it needs to be reset. So a time to do that would be before, well, there's various ways to do that. We could run it here after we switch to a new workbook um, or let's do our technology, no, our map filter right here. I can put it back in here at the beginning and reset active sheet so that this range filter will work. So let me refresh that one. Let me go to map view, filter range, there we go. And now it works because it just lost the active sheet uh, in memory. Anyway, okay, that's it for uh, toolbar functions. That's what it was.